I, I did feel some discrimination in San Francisco, although probably it was much less than at the time that uh, the conflict took place back in early 1900s. I was there in 1929 to 1942. And during that time, uh, we still had prejudice. Uh, jobs were hard to come by. And in fact, uh, uh, I remember one time when uh, there was a Dean Chernin at the University of California. He was head of the graduate school for social work. I had applied and I got accepted. He calls me in and says, Mr. Hoshiyama, why do you want a master's in social work when there's no job for you out there? It's much better that you take a job that will look better on your resume than to have a master's which people won't even accept or even recognize for you. And so 1941, it indicates that even Dean Chernin was aware of the prejudice and the kind of job that we used to get after getting a college degree, 1941 in Berkeley, was that all my co-graduates -co unless they had a home or had a business of their own, worked for $50 a month at Grand Avenue as a clerk or at a flower stand downtown or at produce market at $50 a month. And that was not very uh, open in terms of employment for the Japanese Americans at that time. 